Need to install Rapid Connect? Here's how it's done. In the SOLIDWORKS EPDM Administration Console, open up Variables and create variables needed to hold the Agile configuration. Particularly, we need a class, subclass, and the Agile number. Next, we can go to our cards and open up our data card and add those fields to our data card. Again, we have the Agile class, subclass, and the number. And last, we need to modify our Rapid Connect configuration. In the distribution, there's a Rapid Connect XML that we want to edit. And in this XML file, you can see that there's a mapping. There's mappings between part um, EPDM variables and Agile attributes. In addition, we also have the text, uh, um, I'm sorry, the data type in Agile. Now, if you notice uh, in the comments here that the Agile field is actually the Agile API name, not the name of the field itself. In addition, we have the subclasses section of the XML configuration. And here we have the opportunity to include all subclasses that an engineer can select from. Or if we want to only allow specific subclasses, we can go ahead and enter in the allow um, fields in the XML. And in this particular case, the only option that will be presented to the engineer that wants to create or pull auto numbers from Agile will be the part subclass and the parts class. And that leaves us with the variables section of the XML file. And these are the fields that we just created. So Agile class is the name of the EPDM variable, Agile number, and Agile subclass. We also have a field for the Agile URL, as a user will not be able to enter in the URL. So make sure that this is set appropriately for your environment. And if you notice, we do not have the application context on the end. That's because the web service calls use a predetermined path after the host name and the port. Now we can go ahead and add the uh, add-in into SOLIDWORKS EPDM now that our configuration is correct. So just right-click on add-ins, select new add-in, and here we want to make sure that we grab all three files. We have uh, an EPDM uh, library. We have the Rapid Connect DLL itself, which is our add-in, along with the configuration file. So we want to select all of these. And we can verify here in the uh, properties for the add-in that it is the zero weight state Agile Auto Number plugin. It requires version 8 or higher in SOLIDWORKS EPDM. Go ahead and click OK. Now we're going to get a, w a warning here because it uh, was developed with Microsoft.NET rather than the older COM style interfaces. So we'll click OK. Now this may take uh, just a few minutes to complete. And here we can see the add-in was added to the SOLIDWORKS EPDM Administration Console. So now when users go to interact with the Vault view and right-click on an object, they will see this connector uh, available to them or this add-in available to them um, in the Windows Explorer add-in. Thank you.